in the dawn times, the greatest tree at the woods black heart served as the perch for the great mast crow. Welcome back to Cultist Simulator. It is time to progress just that little bit further. The peacock door gave us um, some interesting snippets of story, but it did crack my mirror. And I like that mirror, and I would need to repair it now. Let's uh, dive in to the story here and see where we've left off. That doesn't sound like a good sound. I do have this favor from authority. It is timed. Hmm. Of course, I must always give it my reason. It is interesting that they did give us a few instant advancements. Who should I talk to? I think it would benefit us to gain more initiates. These disciples are powerful, and I have a strong ish advancement, but there's damning evidence built against me, and is that something I can do something with right now? Hmm. My passion is exhausted by my desire, my unfulfilled desire. Book of True Blood. In the final part, Cassius confesses to being a former legat. He recounts the terror of the Tribune and divulges the secret lore of the Golden General, the champion of the Shadowless Empire, the enemy of the Tribune, in the hope that the Tribune will someday be undone. It's too bad we're not a knife cult. Is there nothing I can do? Hmm. Cannot be relied upon. Who's good at destroying things? Probably Moth, right? That is unfortunate. Uh, that the evidence is built in such a way. Sure, let's explore. Let's explore our own headquarters. Oh, oh, that could have been a poor, poorly done. Poorly done. We need to shepherd Benjamin through these things. Pope. Oh, oh, saving. You undo me again. Pope Clifton, an acquaintance. Might be able to recruit him. Let's see what he is interested in. Hmm. Can you tell it's been a while? Rights must be observed. Okay, I have a little bit of contentment. My life is not the worst. Hmm. Not quite what I was looking for. 
Does my friend still have books for sale? If you have books, I have the money to buy. Aha! The Pope is a lantern. That will be useful. My lantern friend, uh, I would like for you to ascend. What should our goal be now? We've climbed up to the peacock door, and from what I could see, there is no apparent path beyond. Of course, I could be wrong. But... Queen of the Rivers. That's an interesting book, friends. I thank you for turning me on to it. Why don't you continue to provide me with interesting tidbits? Bits of tid and the such. These hangers on seem useless. Orchid Transfigurations in Latin. Well, we know what to do about Latin. Good, good. He has become more useful, as all of my disciples should be. Still, oh, well this is what I should be doing. Explore on the continent. More expeditions need be tread. Called scrap. Okay, but would be nice if I could wait out my problem with authority before I send my friends away. Foreman's house. Philip Foreman, the helminthologist and antiquarium, did his best work here at the family home until the day his subjects escaped. The infestation was destroyed, but Foreman, they say, walks the halls to this day, guarding his library and his shame. It will be good to build up some expeditions. But... But I dare not embark upon any while my notoriety is so high still. It's too dangerous. I could get me or my followers killed. Coming. If only I had someone who could deal with skin of the world endings. Rose, you're too dangerous and deadly. This is all very, very bad. Very, very bad. I wonder, is there something I'm missing? Some way to deal with this evidence? Orthos wood. The pines grow thick as hairs on a dog's back. The airs of the inner wood are chokingly thick with resin and dust. The source 
that brought you here claimed that in the dawn times the greatest tree at the woods black heart served as the perch for the great mast crow Better not take someone important to me, Inspector. It's gonna be so close. Can I at least hide it? There's got to be a way to hide it. Do I have someone expendable? Laidlaw. Laidlaw. No, 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 no. A pawn? My friends. Oh, my friend. Can you please do something about this? Just hide. Damn. Damn. I was hoping he could hide it for me at the least. I'm, I'm dealing with things. My job doesn't understand. Valcine, I'm sorry, but. It was worth it. We move on without you, my friend. My not quite friend. My disciple. work my way back up again only the favor for authority lasted for longer how am I supposed to <sighs> how am I supposed to do that The Bureau's appetite is satisfied for the moment. What have they learnt? The Bureau is an enemy. Hmm. The Painted River. Erudition. A lesson learned. The Painted River runs from a great chamber near the White Door, far through the Mansus to its far edge, where it enters a painted delta of far cloud. I voyaged half its length last night with a stern-faced captain beneath a rust red sail. As the clouds rose before us, the sailors raised a yearning shanty and close hauled the sails to best use the painted wind. All while the captain and I discoursed on the secrets of the House of the Sun. <sighs> With three lessons learnt. I have a lesson learnt. I could get another lesson learnt. Man, I'm really on the outs with, well, I knew when I was doing it, I was making a mistake using my reason for a second thing while I was trying to replace my job, but I've become independently wealthy, pretty much. 
I will have to wait out this tentative evidence, though. Sure. Yes. Oh, yes, I'm so diligent. Trust me, I'm coming back. Bunch of losers. I will at least have my reason for when it loops around again. Really what I need is moth followers. People who can deal with evidence should the need arise. All right, I've made it back to the horrible kneeling, scraping, and groveling that I need to do for these people. How long? Oh, the tentative evidence lasts for so long. What have I gained? Cat Caro. Cat Caro, my friend. You style yourself as a fortune teller. Well, what do you know about the Grail? I can tell you. The rites must be observed, though. You must be a member of something before I can give you that esteemed information. I should be using my time to study. Moreland, my friend, give me a book. Flood, or pseudo-flood, suggests ailments, alignments between the alchemical tradition of Rubido and the older grail traditions, though the Pine Knight's quest for the Cinnabar Cup. Not giving you my acceptance. Cat. Oh, another gra uh, uh, another lantern follower. Um Yes, yes, we've we've know of your kind uh here. Why don't you go up there with the Pope? I although I find you a bit less cumbersome than the Pope. Killing Ripe and the Moldy Warp's Grave and other stories. I I enjoy stories. Let's see what's for auction. Accounting of the Asoplean Mysteries of the Roots of the House. Of course I'll bid. We have much time for study while we wait for this evidence to leave. Seek the cup in the birthing bed, the pine knight is told. The midwife at the birthing bed, to his amazement, is the mountain mother. In a fit of awe, he both gelds and flays himself. The vigilant storm bursts joyfully from the remains. Well, you've given me some lore here. I've won the auction. How nice. What I would like, though, what I would really enjoy, though, is to translate something. Moreland, I'm busy translating something. Do you have anything for me to peruse in your shop? Soon I will need to make my own tools and books and histories. A collection of essays. That could be useful if I'm trying to raise my reason. Hmm. 
That is odd. Why didn't I meet a person there? Very odd. The protagonist, a speechless cat thing called Kitling Wright, performs a series of elaborate rites to rescue members of her extended family, culminating in the resurrection of her other grandmother, Moldywarp. I have some questions about some things, but only a minute left on this tentative evidence, and then we can put this whole situation behind us. That rumor can expire for all I care. What would a rumor have given? Glimmering. The Wood Whisper. More information on the moth, but no moths to ride towards the flame. The flame in the cup. Did... Did it expire while I wasn't watching? Where did my... Am I free? May, may I go about my business again? This very obviously not an antique test. At the very least, it has been badly mutilated, but it contains substantial intriguing material, especially a persuasive comparison of the house without walls, without doors to the human body, with its many portals. Yes, I believe I'm free. Aside from my mystique, they have no evidence on me. Nothing they can follow up on. Which means next time, we'll be going on some expeditions. We'll see you then.